Welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Chris Holmstrom. A Hollywood street turned into a river this morning. A water main broke, leaving two women trapped in the flood. And this isn't the first time the area has had problems. CBS News Car finished from live on Coenga Boulevard near Odin Street with a look at the rescue and repairs. Car, you've been out there all morning long. How is it looking right now? Well, six tonight is the target, Chris, for opening everything back up. You can see crews very busy right now making those needed repairs, getting everything cleaned up. And what a difference from early this morning when our cameras first arrived. Crews were working to rescue those two people who had been stranded in floodwaters for more than an hour. Straight out of Hollywood, rushing water trapped two women on top of a floating car. A water main break created this five-foot-deep pool, submerging their doors. They scrambled out windows, and firefighters extended a ladder for the rescue. Are you guys okay? Yes, yeah, we're okay. With apartments and duplexes nearby, Swiftwater rescue teams moved in. They spotted a missing manhole cover, which raised this worry. A uh, current flow that'll go below grade. If uh, any person or part of your body ends up getting in, trapped in that current vector, it could end up potentially sucking you underground. Fortunately, nobody was hurt, but at least one garage was damaged and neighbors were stuck behind rising water for hours. Ultimately, crews shut the water off and a dozer cleared debris plugging a drain. This woman called the mess frustrating and familiar. This is the third time in less than six months. The DWP says it's actually the fifth break in this neighborhood in about two years. When I reported on this one last January, a spokesperson said the same thing a civil engineer did today. It's a cast iron pipe and it's 91 years old. So we would attribute this to old age. Resolva Santana says the problem pipe was already slated to be replaced by fall. Now they'll push to start work sooner. Neighbors also plan to ask area leaders for grading and other changes. They say this busy, low-lying area floods with rain, too, and needs better drainage. This is a tight spot in the morning, like the 101 and Coenga. There's not many other routes through this area. So back here live, crews working right now on getting that temporary fix so that they can reopen this stretch of Kawanga and that 101 freeway exit. But again, perhaps the best news in all of this, they are hoping, Chris, to push up the complete replacement of that 1930 pipe. Oh, Carl, what a mess. But we all know there's a lot of old pipes throughout the city. So just I'm sure one of many <laughs> uh, leaks to come. Carl, thank you so much for that. Well, the hunt for the gunman in a 2019 Silmar murder case is intensifying. He's now the FBI's top 10 most wanted. His name is Omar Alexander Cardenas. He's accused of murdering a man in front of a Silmar barbershop. Prosecutors say he fired several rounds with a semi-automatic rifle, killing one man. The FBI released new surveillance video of the suspect and is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for any information leading to his arrest. We're seeing